Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the vlog. Now, it is obviously the middle of the day, but it is the end of my day. I will be away to bed shortly, but I've just finished editing up the, uh, the episode that you're about to watch, and I uh, wanted to do things a little bit differently and uh, jump in and say the last few days have been varied, but, uh, but really good fun. Chris and I are working well together. It, to be fair, we're an absolute killer team at, at the moment. It's, uh, it's good. I enjoy working with him, and it's, uh, it's nice to have the company on the midnight to eight, so uh, yeah, more of, uh, more of that to come. But hope you enjoy what you're about to see, and um, I will catch you all in the next episode. Take care. Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to do some real work. No, I'm actually going to do a job with Chris. So uh, I have said this before, I'm never, never alone down here, um, but you know, I never really want to get anybody else on camera. Um, but Chris and I are going to take a, take a shaft seal on one of the uh, seawater pumps. Yeah, there's going to be two of us on film today. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and like any reasonable sized job, it's going to start with a little bit of um, paperwork. Uh, Chris has just gone up to go and grab the permit to work pad so that we can fill something out. And uh, this is going to be a toolbox talk. Keep the uh, health and safety people happy prove that we've actually thought about what we're about to do. So uh, yeah, that's it. I'll uh, grab the camera in a second when we, when we head outside and grab some tools and uh, start, uh, start cracking on with the job. In theory, it sh should be... Hang on. No alarms, which is good. Stand corrected, there was an alarm. Right, so uh, to Chris, we're going to check that the pump actually doesn't start and then uh, crack on with the job. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I think there's a very good reason why. The, the, these pumps, they've got, um, they've got bearings because of what they do. Yeah. Or a lot of pumps, they don't have that. They just have a coupling. Sometimes they have kind of dots. Just the, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably in kind of casing. Get a high even wear on the front side.
went back together a lot easier than it was, than it came apart. Um, might sound a bit daft, but we suspect that because uh, this pump has been apart before in the shipyard, um, we suspect that the the wrong shaft seal may have been used. Maybe it didn't quite fit the shafts properly, and the, uh, the spacer ring or the distance ring was marginally too large. Say sorry, too large, too short. Wasn't enough pressure on the seal. So, uh, I mean, parts that we've used are correct for the serial number and the, the type of pump. So, fingers crossed, everything will be okay. But uh, uh, went, it went back together a lot, a lot smoother than, uh, than it came apart. Took a little bit of faffing around to get the pump started. It was, um, it was, and this sounds really simple. Set the local, but there were actually two starter boxes. One, or rather, one frequency drive um, and an actual starter cabinet. And they were both set to local, but I couldn't find, I couldn't find the um, actual starter cabinet. So uh, once we got the pump running, checked it, it's given good pressure. It's not leaking. We're uh, we're both pretty happy with it. We've had a, a Pepsi Max to celebrate. Um, yeah, so it was good fun to do. Actually, it's nice to get stuck into a to a, a real project. So uh, yeah, um, that's that done. I'm just doing the paperwork side of it now, um, writing off spare parts and uh, writing up a like a job history. So that was good. That was good. Maybe we'll. Uh, tackle another one tomorrow because we do have a fair selection of leaking shaft seals to pick from unfortunately so, uh, yeah I'll, uh, I'll catch you in a bit it's a bit weird in here it smells a bit gray watery um right I uh came outside to kind of prove to everybody that they do still know how to leave the engine room. Here we are, um, raining, cold, who would have predicted that for North Wales? But um, yeah, I, I just I came outside to say, uh, I'm, I'm going to call it there, That's a, that was a, a wild couple of days, plenty going on, lots of real work, not, uh, not just watch keeping, so it's actually nice to finish work and um, feel like you've achieved something. It's, uh, it's good fun working with Chris. We're really getting into the swing of things now, kind of preempting each other's moves, which is, uh, which is good. Um, yeah, I'm uh, not knock the episode on the head there, so um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you do. I uh, do hope you enjoy it. A little bit, uh, little bit of insight. So um, until then, I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.